Come in. Hi, Mr. Moore. Yes. Hi, uh, Tony Keffer. Hey, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. How are you doing today, sir? Have a seat. I'm doing well, thanks. Oh, that's good. I'm glad to hear it. Now, uh, you're probably wondering why I brought this baseball. Yeah. You've got to bring it along for good luck because this is actually the no-hit baseball that Ross Deddecker threw for the Copperheads last year. Really? This, yep, this was the last ball he used to throw a no-hitter to help us get to the playoffs. So, brought it with me for good luck. Go ahead. I'm know. feeling the luck as soon as I, wow, I feel, I'm feeling it. Oh, yeah. Man, that's man. great, man. Definitely got to feel lucky. But uh, how are you doing today, sir? You doing well? Uh, yeah, I'm doing well. That's Things good. are going really well. Just got done with lunch, hanging out. Oh, yeah, that lunch rush. Yeah. I feel it, definitely. Oh, yeah. Um, so... Um, I'm with the Southern Ohio Copperheads. I'm a student ambassador here. Just come here to talk to you about some great deal that we got going on. But first, do you mind if I just ask you a couple of questions? Yeah, 100%. So, you got yeah. me. So, you're your GM here at Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, did you go to Ohio University? Or I did. Oh, nice. Uh, what was your major? Uh, business management. Business management? All right. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, did you, are you from OU? Or I'm from actually Africa? originally from Columbus. And uh -huh. after I graduated, I chose to stay here because I got a really good job at Buffalo Wild Wings and I'm kind of running the place, so it's it's worked out really well. Oh uh, yeah, it's a great town, right? You just can't leave it at all. Mm -hmm. So, okay, um, there's a question about your business. Um, you you know, summers at Athens can be a little rough. They could be kind of slow, it could be hard on business. So with what do you do to kind of set yourself apart from like the other businesses on Court Street? The foot traffic may not be as high as it usually is, and then you got Jackie O's, you have Chipotle, you have all the bars on town for people to get food at. So like, what do you do to kind of set yourself apart a little bit over the summer? You know, uh, that's a really good question, Tony, and I'm glad you asked that because there are a lot of competitors within the area, and it's kind of in a very short radius. You know, everybody's kind of around each other. But one thing that we like to do is we like to kind of get in with the community as much as we can. Uh, some things that we do, uh, we sponsor the youth and high school football teams here in oh. Athens. Um, I have a, a kid who's playing baseball right now, and I sponsored their jerseys this year. Uh, they're having a pretty fun season. Just We feel here at <coughs> excuse me, Buffalo Wild Wings that if we get more within the community, especially within sports, because you know we are kind of a sports business, we got... 50 plus TVs watching sports all day, every day. You know, we might as well stay within the community and bring some sports fans in that way. We, we at least we try to. Oh yeah, and it's a great community to get involved with. Uh, you said you had a boy. Uh, what's his name? How old is he? Uh, his name's Patrick. Patrick. Patrick Moore. He's 10 years old. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's actually that's my middle name. It's Patrick. Oh, really? Yes, sir. <laughs> small An world. Anthony Patrick Heffer. Ah, uh, small world. Oh yeah. Uh, so uh, he enjoys baseball. I'm assuming. Yeah, he does. Uh, this is his fourth season, and okay. he's starting to swing really well. He's getting a good, uh, getting a good arm on him, so it's it's nice. Yeah, he likes oh, it. That's good. So let me ask you: When do you think was the last time you went to a game that used a wood bat instead of the aluminum bat? It's a good question. Oh, you plays with aluminum, correct? Yes, sir. Oh. Yep, the Cowboys guys play with aluminum. Well, I, I guess I'd have to say. Uh, Maybe an Indians game, actually. I think it was last year. Indians game? Yeah. Oh, those are great. I'm from my bike, please. Like, great park. Oh, really? You yeah, it's a beautiful. Gorgeous park. Been there a lot. Beautiful. So, um, okay, what if I could tell you you got a chance to see some wood bat games here in town? Would, how really? would you feel about that? Maybe take your son out and have him enjoy it. Oh, absolutely. All right. Yeah. All right. Good. That'd be fun. And it's also a great way to help out the community as well, if you go with the community and your employees. Yeah. Right? Awesome. So, okay, what I got here is the Grand Slam package. Now, we offered this last year, but last year was kind of a test run. Okay. So, this is the first year we are offering this full-time to the local businesses. It's kind of our way of giving back to the community. Really? It's in a way. So, the same thing, how you talked about wanting to get in with the community and show your support for them. This is our way of doing that with oh, local great. businesses. Okay. So what we have here, it's a hundred dollar value for just twenty-five dollars, right? Okay. So to start out, you would get twelve general admission tickets. Now what you do 
is these are the slits and you tear them off and you turn this in at the will call and they hand you your 12 tickets right then and there. So this acts as the ticket? Yes. Okay. You do not have to use all 12 at once. Okay. You can use them however you see fit. You Great. can even go up to will call, pick them up, and then not go to that game, just go to pick them up and go to a game later. Okay. Do it however you if want. If I were to maybe grab two tickets my first day and not want to carry tickets around with me, is there another option? Oh, yes. They hold on to them at will call, and then they keep track of how many tickets you have left. They have a database there. Good. So then you could come another with two other people, so three, and that would bring you down to seven. And right. They would keep track of all of that in their system for okay. you. Good. Absolutely. So that's first. And then now we have the two stadium cups. Now what these are, these are souvenir cups that you take. You pick them up at the stadium and you get to take them home and you have a souvenir cup. But if you bring these cups to the game with you, when you go to get a beer at the game, it's actually a dollar off beer. Oh, really? And we have cheap beer, just $5 Jackie O's beer. Oh, really? So it's good beer. So that would bring it down to four dollars a beer. What? Where else are you going to get to go watch a ball game live and have cheap beer like that? You know, That's a good question. Exactly. Get a couple of drinks. It's yeah. great, especially under the floodlights. Nothing like that. Okay. You know? All right. Next, we have we got one free round of golf at the OU Golf. Are you a golfer or anyone? Oh, yep, got the PGA Tour shirt right there. You know it, man. You enjoy yeah. it. Absolutely. And it's a gorgeous course over there. Yeah, it's it really nice. Is. Yeah. And Great, oh, yeah. great nine-hole course. It's mm -hmm. great. And here you get one free round of golf, and this does come with the cart. Oh, so really? It's a free round of golf with the cart. Man, it's like, I don't know, like 26 bucks or something for a round of golf and a cart. So that basically... Exactly. That pays for it as, as it is, and then you get everything else on top of it. Okay. Now, you said you've had 10-year-old son, correct? Correct. All right. Does he like the bowl? Uh, yeah, he does it, right? Yeah. So here you got buy one hour, get one free at Roller Bowl Lanes. Oh. So that you could take your son out, have a couple hours, have a good, you know, father-son night out. Always yeah. fun. And then here we got a free appetizer from Texas Roadhouse. Okay. You can obviously package that with the Roller Bowl and maybe right. before a game. Right, yeah. Now, the other thing here is we do have a family-centric environment. We have inflatables. We have uh, the speed pitcher. Where you can throw and see how hard you throw. We got that one of those at the game. We got some face painting. Uh, there's a, a couple games a guy comes and does temporary tattoos for the oh, kids. Okay. So they Patty, get lo Patty love that uh, that speed pitcher thing. He's like I said, he's getting a good arm on. So he's oh yeah, want to test that one out. Definitely, but great things for the family, including our theme nights. We got a superhero night. Oh, yeah. We have a awful night we call it where everything's just intentionally bad as a <laughs> joke you know play the cheesy music the cheesy dancers yeah. the whole nine yards you know oh, man. the kids the kids love it they think it's hilarious okay and then we also have two fireworks nights where they are two of only three fireworks nights in all of athens ohio oh really and they average anywhere from 30 to thirty-five thousand dollars worth of fireworks oh, per yeah. So that's a pretty big show. show. Oh, yeah, it's a great, great show. show. It's on June 24th and July 29th. On July 29th, that should be our home finale as well. If I were to purchase these tickets, would I be able to hold on to some some seats for those fireworks nights? Because I'm sure that they sell out, maybe have a, a lot of people there, right? I want to make sure that I can get oh, to yeah. this game. Absolutely. If you buy these packages off of us, you can, when you go to first pick them up, you can talk to a ticket agent then, and they can reserve a couple seats for you for the fireworks nights. I'm That's really sad. Okay. But you mentioned <laughs> how business can be slow over the summer, correct? Correct. Now, how would you feel? How, about, how many employees do you think? About 30 employees. 30 employees? Yes. Okay, and they're working all, th all through the summer? Yeah, I would say about 15 of them fluctuate. Uh, we have a lot of waiters, waitresses, and some busboys that, you know, are, are students here. So since they're students, some of them are, you know, either first year or fourth year, and they kind of fluctuate throughout semesters because you know, schedules change and people, oh, yeah. get, people get jobs, you know big boy jobs and they just kind of move up in the world so things might change here and there but I would say 15 of our employees are definitely rock solid on and then we got 15 to kind of fluctuate which kind of kind of makes it tough to uh, to bring in like a really cohesive atmosphere because we got kind of people in and out of the door oh yeah well how did you feel maybe something like this could absolutely help you with that maybe get a couple these tickets can help you maybe do a company outing 
or something, maybe a company picnic or something along those lines to where your employees could come out and, of course, if they're of age, get a couple of drinks. Everyone could, it could be a good camaraderie building experience, getting everyone out to a ball game, having a good time, yeah. and it can really help to build that camaraderie and that sense of wanting to work at Buffalo Wild Wings because it's a fun place to work. You know, that kind of makes sense. Uh, I never really thought of, you know, it's a really of a revolving door when it comes to some waiters, waiters and waitresses. So this uh, company outing actually would work well. Um, some of our employees in the back room actually have families and children and whatnot. And um, I could definitely kind of look at friends and family. Oh, yeah. It kind of makes sense. Now, uh, do you any of them have some younger children? Uh, yeah, uh, so if they have children, they're probably under six years old. Okay, what we actually have here are what we call baseball sitters, where there are 10 employees that are at every game. They're OU students, I promise they are responsible, you know, they're good with kids. And what they will actually do is for a couple of days, take the kids off your hands. Okay. And they'll go play on the inflatables, they'll paint their faces, they'll do all those things with the kids so mom and dad can sit back, have a beer, enjoy a couple of days of relaxation. So if you were to do the company outing like that, then your employees that do have families could bring the whole family and the kids could have something to enjoy and your employees and, you know, their wife or husband could also have something to enjoy as well. It's a win-win situation, honestly. So you really, you really think that uh, bringing some of my employees out as for a friends and family event would kind of bring some camaraderie throughout oh, yeah. Buffalo Wild Wings? I mean, what other place here at Athens, what other, especially uptown at a bar or a restaurant, what other restaurant could say, yeah, we take our employees out to Copperheads games. We treat our employees well. You know, we give them something they can really enjoy. You're right. You know, that could be something that could set you apart. If you got, you're looking to replace a position and somebody hears, oh, this place, they take their people out the games. You know, they treat their employees well. Then that could be something that could help you get that person in the door and help build that camaraderie within the workplace. You know, Mr. Kepper, I think you got a really good point there. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, you know, we haven't gone through anything like this before. I've, I've done a couple, you know, raffles and what what not some things in store but maybe maybe it's time we outsource you know maybe it's time that we kind of get out out of you know our venue and kind of to bring everybody together in a different venue so yeah let me uh let me i'll definitely take a couple of these all right um, so there's 12 tickets in each i got you know yeah, about with 30 employees uh 12 tickets each i would honestly probably recommend five Mm -hmm. Just because that you'd only be spending one hundred twenty-five dollars, yeah. not a lot of money. Right. That gives you enough to do one employee outing, maybe even to throw a couple prizes in for like good employees, while still having tickets available for you to be able to take your family and your son out. And that you would get with that, you would then get sixty tickets, ten stadium cups. You'd have five free rounds of golf. Yep. So that's plenty of golfing for you yeah. to do over the summer. <laughs> you would have five of the roller bowls and then five free appetizers at Texas Roadhouse as well. Okay, you know, I think you got a really good point there. Um, so I'm going to be here all summer, and some of my employees will. So uh, I'm probably going to want to go to more than one game. So since you kind of gave me this whole idea, it's kind of helped me help you think. I think I'm going to buy 10 instead of five. I think uh, uh, I, my employees will actually really enjoy going to these games and I can kind of leverage them to kind of keep working hard and keep, you know, making everything, you know, work very well within the workplace and, you know, maybe dish out a couple more tickets if things are going really well. So, yeah, I think I'm, I might take 10. Do you have 10 with you? Um, okay, here's what we do. I have six with me right now through this okay. one. I can give you these six. Okay. And then what I will do is actually, if you want, I will go and immediately grab the other four. Okay. I'm, I'm right down at the convo is my office. So oh. not a far walk at all. So I can go grab those four and bring them right up to you right now. Yeah. And if you want, we could even take this off and I can just bring the tickets right to you. Just to make it easy on you. Or you can wait till we'll call. Have I'll wait. Good. Okay, I'll wait for we'll yeah. call for sure. But you can definitely, uh, I'll pay for 10 up front. You can come back, bring the other four. I trust you. I got your card and everything. Oh, so like absolutely, that. sir. I will go immediately grab them. Um, so, so that would be two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Now, would you want to be paying cash or card? Uh, I've got a credit card for that. Card. card. All right. Um, what I have on my phone here is I have this app. You'll see it. Uh, does your card have the chip in it? Correct. All right. Awesome. This app right here. You see, all you gotta do 
is you could actually press your card to my phone, and my card will read through the will oh, read really? the chip, and then it'll get all the information right there off of it for you. Will I be able to get a receipt? Oh, absolutely! I can email it right to you. Okay. Absolutely. So there, okay. yes, you see the chip. If you just press it right there, huh? It'll, it usually takes a couple seconds. You know, it's got to read it. Wow. Yep. There we That's go. That's kind of cool. Got it there. I haven't seen that before. Oh yeah, it's brand new technology. Yeah. Um, so what is the email that I will be sending this to? Uh, you can send it to our corporate email. It's bwwathens okay. at gmail.com. All right. Yeah, you can send that. It's right on my computer in the back here. And I just sent it. So you should get it in a couple minutes. Sure. But if you do not get it, don't worry. Just let me know. I have you in the system so I can reprint you out a copy or re email it however you wish to do it. Sure. So okay. I will leave right. these with you. Go yeah, get absolutely. them. Um, thank you so much for your business, though. Right. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the um, ideas. Do you know possibly of anywhere else in the area that might benefit from something like this? Like, I know you said you talk a lot about getting out of the community. Do you uh, know of any other businesses or anything that might benefit from this package? You know what, actually? Uh, I do, and uh, so you're a really nice guy. He's, uh, he's not really a competitor of mine, but he's a friend. So okay. he owns Universities. It's okay. on Core Street. Have you ever heard of it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So my buddy's name is Jared. J A R E D. All right. Frank. Jared Frank. Jared Frank. Yeah. Go on in. Um, I'd say the best time to reach him would be early in the morning. He's the one who always opens up the store, so around eight nine o'clock. But just he's not there all day, so. Uh, if you could either give him a call or show up early, I'm pretty sure Jared might want to snag a couple of these too. Absolutely. All right. Again, I uh, thank you for your business. I hope your boy Patrick, correct? Yeah, that's right. All right. I hope he enjoys it. I'm sure, you know, being a ball player, he'll get to see some of the best college talent and get to see him, you know, swing out a wood bat, see how that goes. Yeah. Well, hopefully it takes well to it, man. Hopefully. Thank you very much. I will go. Grab the rest of those for you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was good luck. Yeah, like and it said, was right. Whoop! Hey, oh, I got to be careful. See, got to be careful now. Got to be careful. <laughs> All right, man. You have a good day. All right, thank you. You have a great right. day, sir. Take care.